In October 2025, the Republic of Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration made a decision that reverberated throughout the global aerospace industry, choosing L3 Harris Technologies over the incumbent Boeing for the nation's second batch of airborne early warning and control aircraft. This strategic pivot, valued at over 3 trillion 100 billion Korean won, approximately 2 billion 260 million United States dollars, signals a transformative era for the Republic of Korea Air Force surveillance capabilities. The transition from the Boeing 737-700 based Peace I to the Bombardier Global 6500 platform reflects a sophisticated shift toward operational efficiency, domestic industrial growth, and advanced sensor technology tailored for the unique threats of the Korean Peninsula. For over a decade, the four E-737 Peace I aircraft have served as the cornerstone of South Korea's aerial surveillance. However, the tenure of these aircraft has been characterized by significant logistical hurdles and fiscal strain. Reports presented to the Korean National Defense Committee indicated that between 2015 and 2019, the Peace I fleet frequently failed to meet the required 75% mission availability rate. These operational shortfalls were primarily attributed to frequent mechanical failures and the escalating costs of proprietary components. Maintenance expenditures during this period reached 350 billion Korean won, a figure nearly equivalent to the original procurement cost of a single airframe. Such economic and operational pressures necessitated a radical reevaluation of the ROCAF's long-term strategy for the Batch 2 expansion. The public sentiment in South Korea has grown increasingly critical of black box technologies from foreign suppliers that prevent local technicians from performing essential repairs, leading to prolonged grounding of critical assets. The competition for the second phase of the AEWNC program was a direct confrontation between the established E-7 Wedgetail, the modernized successor to the Peace Eye, and the Phoenix solution proposed by L3 Harris. While the E-7 is widely regarded as a premier platform utilized by the United States and Australia, its financial requirements proved prohibitive for the South Korean defense budget. In 2024, the United States Department of State estimated that a sale of four additional E-7 aircraft to South Korea could cost up to $4,900,000,000 United States dollars. In stark contrast, the L3 Harris proposal provided a more economically viable path without compromising technical performance. DAPA's evaluation concluded that the L3 Harris IAI ELTA solution offered superior life cycle maintenance costs and operational suitability for the specific requirements of the Korean Peninsula. This decision marks a rare instance where a Canadian airframe, American systems integration, and Israeli radar technology were preferred over a unified American solution, highlighting South Korea's growing confidence in managing complex multinational defense projects. The Bombardier Global 6500, which serves as the airframe for the new fleet, offers distinct performance advantages over the older Boeing 737-700 platform. The Global 6500 is capable of cruising at an altitude of approximately 15,500 meters, significantly higher than the 12,500 meter ceiling of the Peace Eye. This increased altitude allows for a broader radar horizon and enhanced survivability against ground-based threats. Furthermore, the Global 6500 boasts an endurance of 18 hours and a range of 6,600 nautical miles, enabling longer time on station and reducing the frequency of mission rotations. These characteristics are critical for maintaining continuous surveillance of North Korean missile activities and regional maritime movements. From an economic standpoint, the Global 6500 is a modern business jet with a global maintenance network, ensuring that spare parts for the A airframe are more accessible and less expensive than the aging 737-700 series components. At the heart of the new platform is the ELW-2085 radar system, developed by Israel Aerospace Industries' ELTA systems. 
Unlike the multi-role electronically scanned array radar on the PSI, the new fleet will utilize gallium nitride-based active electronically scanned array technology. This dual-band radar provides 360-degree coverage and incorporates artificial intelligence algorithms for faster threat detection and classification. The L-band is optimized for long-range detection of traditional aircraft, while the S-band provides the high resolution necessary to track smaller, stealthier targets. The conformal radar installation on the Global 6500 also reduces aerodynamic drag compared to the traditional rotodome or top hat configurations, preserving the aircraft's fuel efficiency and flight handling. For a nation facing the increasing threat of small, low-flying unmanned aerial vehicles from the north, the sensitivity of the ELTA radar system provides a decisive tactical advantage. One of the most compelling factors for the South Korean public and government is the emphasis on K-defense autonomy. The contract ensures that Korean Air will play a central role in the modification, integration, and long-term maintenance of the aircraft. By moving away from a purely foreign military sales model, which often limits local access to core technologies, the L3 Harris partnership facilitates a significant transfer of technical expertise. Two of the four aircraft are scheduled for modification within South Korean facilities, fostering a local ecosystem for specialized mission aircraft. This collaborative approach aligns with the national goal of becoming a top-tier global defense exporter and reduces future dependence on foreign original equipment manufacturers for basic sustainment. The involvement of local firms like LIG Nex1 and Hanwha Systems in the integration of domestic data links and encryption systems ensures that the South Korean defense industry gains invaluable experience in high-altitude mission system architecture. The interoperability of the new fleet remains a priority, ensuring that the ROCAF can operate seamlessly alongside United States and NATO forces. The communication suite on the L3 Harris platform is designed to integrate with the Link 16 data link and fifth generation assets such as the F-35A Lightning II and the domestically produced KF-21 Borame. This ensures that the intelligence gathered by the Global 6500 can be distributed in real time across a networked battle space, enhancing the collective defense posture of the ROK-US alliance. Furthermore, the system includes advanced electronic support measures to identify and locate enemy radar missions, providing a comprehensive electronic order of battle for friendly forces. Beyond the immediate tactical benefits, the selection of the L3 Harris platform represents a strategic diversification of South Korea's defense partnerships. By incorporating Israeli radar technology, South Korea mitigates the risks associated with a single-source supply chain from the United States. This multi-vector procurement strategy allows South Korea to leverage the best-of-breed technologies from various global leaders while maintaining a strong alliance with Washington. It also sends a clear message to the international defense market that South Korea is no longer a passive buyer, but a sophisticated integrator capable of selecting platforms based on rigorous performance-to-cost metrics. Looking toward 2032, the ROCAF envisions a hybrid fleet of eight AEW and C aircraft. While the original four PSI units will undergo necessary software and communication upgrades to remain compatible, the addition of the four global 6500 units will provide the redundancy needed to eliminate blind spots in aerial coverage. This expansion is timed to coincide with the deployment of new North Korean strategic assets, including solid-fuel ballistic missiles and stealth-optimized unmanned aerial vehicles. The ability to keep at least two aircraft in the air at all times will provide the unblinking eye required to deter regional aggression and provide early warning for the nation's sophisticated missile defense systems.